All right, uh, this is the Valor Knight, and we are back with attempt two of defeating the caves of Nibbin Dun. Uh, our first dwarf party uh, got absolutely smashed by the trolls. Uh, I posted the second part of that attempt instead of the full 45 minutes of a long failure. I'll post the part that was a defeat. Even though I thought we were doing really well, did not turn out uh, so well. So this time, uh, when I lose, uh, we bring the best deck. Uh, so we're bringing up uh, Elrond, Arwen, and Eowyn, who have been called in because the dwarves uh, were defeated. And so here we go, return number one. We're looking for Vilya. Got Vilya, perfect. Unexpected Courage would be great, uh, but this will work just fine. So we're going to Vilya. Blind Vilya. Oh, and Gildor. Okay, so Gildor must have escaped uh, the previous defeat as the dwarves retreated, many of them fallen, and has come to help uh, here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the Elven Light trick, which I've talked about in previous videos. Uh, I can only be played from your discard pile, so we discard it using, Ar uh, using Arwen's ability. We give her a resource, and then we spend the resource to put it back in our hand. Um, and then we draw a card. Uh, heed the dream. Perfect. Okay. So we're questing. We're going to send seven to start. Uh, actually, do I want to send that many or do I just want to send four? Just send four. Let's just slow build this time around. Pick the same starting location. Alright, and we got the Goblin Dungeon. So, no progress. Uh, let's travel to the dungeon first. We reveal another card. <laughs> and they come back quickly. Okay. Great. Well, I've got time uh, to build up to that. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get an Unexpected Courage soon. We're going to keep the dream. Uh, look at the top five cards. Okay, there's uh, my Unexpected Courage. That's what I want. We give the deck a good shuffle. And Elrond gets played, and we get a Northern Tracker. That's actually really good. Alright, so requesting seven. Eight. Uh, we will send eight and request progress right here. All right, first card we draw is, and it gets plus one for each dark location. So that's actually ten. So we actually raise our threat by two. Okay, this one is already starting off not great. Uh, we should be able to fix that this next turn, hopefully. And that just stinks. All right, everything about this is stunk. We're going to just move into the next round. Already very close to facing a troll that I absolutely cannot handle. All right, we will unexpected courage. Tap Philia for something good. Okay, steward, fine. Uh, we'll tap it for two extra resources. I can pay for resources of any spear. Uh, so one, two, three, four, four, five. We Gandalf. Uh, no, we're in a six and we're going to bay one. <laughs> All right, that's one way to do it. Okay, so 10, 11 is now what we're sending. Uh, this gets, each dark location gets plus one. So this is for two, and this is five. Okay, what did I send? 10, 11. That might not cut it. Uh, so, we'll send an additional three in Bayon Confin. Alright, the card is, of course, the Goblin Town Scavengers. Oh. My. Gosh. Okay, <laughs> they discard uh, that, which brings them up to a six this turn. So we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Which means I have my threat an additional two points. This is great. This is the perfect start. Uh, you know it's bad when the best deck uh, is starting to get beat. Oh, and this turn, this would have gotten the progress on. All right. This comes down. Because I don't want to deal with this guy. I'm actually taking it undefended. Uh, okay. It's plus one for each goblin enemy, so that's two. And attack back for three. Get rid of it. All right. Uh, the next turn after this one, uh, that hill troll engages us. 
Uh, so that's exciting. <laughs> we will Vilia. Ah, tree beard. Okay. We are stabilizing, sort of. I'm going to need to Gandalf this turn. Uh, undoubtedly need to Gandalf. So one, two, three, four, five for Gandalf. And we're going to lower my threat by five. All right. And then we're going to send just 10 on the quest. Wait, absolutely can't just send 10. What am I doing? Uh, 11, when he commits the quest, we place the progress. So boom, boom, this goes away. This drops to four. So that's seven. Seven against 11. Really need to make five progress. So go lower. It's 14. The card we get, player controls cave towards either exhausted or progress can't be placed on the quest. Well, we're not making any, so progress can't be placed on the quest. So this is 4, 7. So we make 7 progress, so that's 5. And after we clear it, we can look at the top 5 cards in my deck and outline for an ally and put it in play under our control and then we shuffle the rest. Okay, we're definitely going to get uh, Buyer. Who got discarded, so that's my only other copy. Fortunately, we didn't get an enemy, uh, so no fighting. Or can I take the cave troll and get him out of here? The reason I'm saying that he needs to be able to, we need to be able to do 10. I can do 3, 8, 9, 10. I can do 10. All right, so we're gonna bring it down. Shadow. Defend. Ooh. Right, right, never mind. Defend with Gandalf. Stack destroys character turn taking enemy care. Staging area after attacks. Does not. And then we're going to use Balin's ability to give him plus 5, so he's attacking for 8, 9, 10. 4 defense, minus 10 is 6. So, troll goes away. Bayorn gets shuffled back in. And we go into the next round. Oh, wait, travel phase. Uh, it's only two more turns before I clear that with the uh, Worm Trackers, and I don't want to pull up another enemy, so here we go. Gandalf says goodbye, sadly. Um, but I feel like we're recovering. Of course, I could get the Surge Storm again like last time, and get absolutely demolished, uh, though I hope that does not happen. Alright, let's Vilia. Four. Another int. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible at all. And let's spend one and one for Defender of Ramas. So another big defender there. And let's open light for drawing a card. Ah, should not have done that. Okay, whatever. That's okay. Actually, we'll have enough to pay for beginning of next turn. So for questing. Send the tracker for one. And the others for 10, so we'll send for 11 this time. The card we get is each player must exhaust character and discard the top of his deck if able. If the print cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher than the remaining hit points of the exhausted character, the print cost is the remaining hit points of the exhausted character. Oof. I'm going to risk Tree Beard. Oh, that was okay. <laughs> that was a little scary. 11 minus 4 is 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm not particularly ready to go into the next stage, um, but it looks like it is coming to us whether I am ready or not. Everybody gets a resource. We're going to draw a card. Ah, Glorfindel, great card. Tap that. Get us 5. And we're going to spend the 5 on Ethereal, not Glorfindel. The Glorf and Double Come. Uh, that is good. We we were off to a rough start with this again, because uh, this game is freaking broken sometimes. <laughs> but we're recovering. <laughs> Had to deal with that troll early, but this is why it's the one deck. Uh, before you know it, you have a board state of just incredible allies, um, and you're just looking good. So I used Vilia. Wait, did I use Vilia? No, I didn't. Okay, we're going to use Billion. And we get Elfhelm. 
Another great ally, 122. After your threat is raised as a result of questing unsuccessfully or by encounter, quest card effect reduces your threat by one. So that's a little nice. Especially since that seems to happen <laughs> in this quest. All right, 10, uh, 11 is what we're going to send. That is going to clear. We're going we're gonna to clear no matter what I send, so might as well send the line. 11, and what we draw is again, exhaust the character. Alright, you're here. We are good. Alright, so that's way more than we need to beat that stage, and we move on. Each player searches the encounter deck for an enemy of his choice, and adds it to the staging and shuffle the encounter deck. Alright. <laughs> so I can pick anything I want here, including the troll. And I'm thinking about the troll so it doesn't come up later, or the goblin, you know, army. That comes in. Wait, does the other thing come in too? No, not yet. Okay, just add the goblin chieftain. And I gotta think about what enemy I want. So we've got these guys. Is it add? Add it to the staging area. I think we're going to add this guy because that's going to cancel the surge effect. Uh, so at least one won't surge. And then the stage gets plus four quest points for each enemy in play. So it's four with the chieftain. And the chieftain, everybody's going to come down and engage in the combat phase. All right. Chieftain's attacking for two, defending for three, shadow card is nothing. Attacking for three, defending for four, shadow card is nothing, so we're all okay there. I should have defended with uh, your buyer. Don't know why I didn't. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More than enough to kill that guy. And we won't remove progress, we're just going to pop him back up to staging. And go into the next round. Skin bark. Might be a good choice. Spin one, two, three on him, another int. And then let us Vilia for Hinamoth. Perfect. Hinamoth, show me what we're up against. The card we are drawing is just a goblin tunnel. So we should actually be able to clear here. So we're gonna be up against four. We need to make four. Um so that means we only need to send eight, so seven, eight. All right, eight against four is four progress, which is enough to clear uh, this location. So as before, the goblins retreat down a dark tunnel, and you chase them into a large hall of many pillars. A wide chasm runs the width of the hall, and the goblins race across a large plank. Their chieftain casts the plank into the depths of the chasm and disappears, leaving you stranded on the other side. So say goodbye to him, and bring down the cracked pillar. Uh, there. Yep. Okay. Reveal an additional encounter card during the quest phase. All right. Well, we are now in the combat phase, and we've got a ton of people ready. So I'm going to attack for four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minus two on the pillar is going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll be able to travel there next turn. I'm not going to make the mistake I made last time of doing all this crazy excess travel. Though I technically probably could get that out of the staging area, but it doesn't really matter right now. So we're going to go into round eight. All right, Bayorn's back. Good to see him. Going to need to save quite a bit for that. I could. One, two, three, four, five. Say hello to Glorfindel. <laughs> so our board state is absolutely massive. And let's go ahead and build you again. Okay, we get Heath Dream. So I have five cards, put one to add to my hand, we'll add the honor card. I think that one's not a bad choice. I should have definitely done a Mildred Stargazer, I don't know what I was doing right there. Uh, <laughs> that was me being absolutely brain dead. Um, it's been the four actually, and we're going to get Faramir as well. Alright, so we just got a lot. Hit him worth, buddy. What's first? Okay, this guy. I don't want him. So we're going to send Ferial, and she's going to let me, when we commit to the quest, I can look at the top part of the encounter deck and discard it. So, one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, This isn't immune to player card effects. So when I send him, this actually places a progress on it. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to discard this, and we're sending 11. We're up against four, card number one. Goblin Sniper. I'm really hoping the next card is not an enemy, so I can just kill this guy. Card number two is not an enemy. Uh, raise your threat by one for each quest and character you control or discard quest and character. One, two, three, four. I really can't discard any of my questing characters, so I'm just going to raise my throw for 4. I've got Gandalf in the deck, oh, and Doomed 1 makes it 5. I've got Gandalf in the deck, so that'll be okay. So I can't really make any progress, um, but Travel Phase, we can go ahead and travel there. Removing 4 damage from it. Sorry, 4 damage from it. And we can engage the Goblin Scout. So, let's see what we get. Tagging for 2, going to defend the tree for 3. Tagging enemy makes an additional attack after this one. Taking for two, defending for three. Taking enemy gets plus three if it's a goblin, so that's for five. Okay, great, thank you for that. Uh, and then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ton of damage can get thrown out there. Bye-bye. Okay, that goblin that uh, surges and makes you attack for double is uh, maybe the dumbest character I've ever seen. <laughs> this game, or at least the most frustrating. Alright, we are gonna Stargazer first. So I can see what I'm gonna build you. I'd like to get Gandalf. Um, ooh, that's what we'll build you. And Spectre Perch build you. Uh, reduce one player's threat by six. So there we go. I just discarded that forever. Oh well, <laughs> it is out of the deck now, so <laughs> there it goes. Alright, Hanamar, what am I up against? A collapsed mine. Okay, not a problem. Only gotta make one progress, literally. Okay, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11, we have 4. And can't place progress. Well, again, pick to not place progress on the quest. But I can still place on the active location, which is when the active location is cleared, uh, that we advance to stage 4A. So I haven't gotten here, did not get here in the previous one, so here we go. We made it across the chasm and resumed the chase. The goblins rally around their chieftain outside the dungeon where the woodmen villagers are being held. So the wars were defeated, couldn't rescue them, uh, but now we might be able to. You must defeat the big goblin if you are to fulfill your oath. And rescue it. Alright, bring the big goblin down. While there are at least eight progress tokens on the stage, Goblin Chieftain loses this text, cannot take damage. At this stage, the stage can't be defeated while he's in play. The stage is defeated, the heroes rescue the captives, fulfilling their oaths, and the players win the game. Alright, where do we want to travel? Once in the staging area, no more four progress will be placed on the quest to be traveled. We'll go there. He's not going to engage yet, because now everything is up to four. Just gonna make these markers for myself. We're not gonna engage him for a minute, so we're not, we're just not going to. Uh, we're gonna let him stand. Even though I could I go, I can't kill him yet. I was like, I could easily kill him this turn. Look, I mean, look at the, we still have Eowyn's ability. I can ready tribute three times. It's kind of game over. All right, what are we looking at? Top five cards. I can get Brock, I can get Gandalf in. Uh, let's Gandalf. So, free Gandalf. Uh, two. Lower my threat, draw three. Probably lower my threat, just in case the one of the hill trolls pops up. All right, and then we're gonna break the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring back Baywarn. And this is why the one deck is completely unstoppable at this point. I've already won. Hinamarth, what are we up against? I want to be able to make the exact progress I need to make. Okay, each dark location gets plus one. So 
that's going to make this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is what we're going to be up against. So 9 is the thread, and we need to make 14 progress. So 9 plus 14 is 23 is what we need to quest for. Can I do it? Probably. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then Faramir's ability for 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, oh, we make 24. All right, card we get is the branching paths. So in the staging we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, 24. Hopefully I did all my math right. 24 minus 9 is 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. So we can get rid of this. We make 9 progress. Did I send the run tracker? Yeah, I did. Okay. And it's time to end this. So we're going to kill the goblin and win the game. So he comes down. He's attacking for four. Defender of Moss will defend for four. Cancel all combat damage dealt to attacking him. Okay, well, we're not killing him this turn. So that's a little unfortunate. And I can either remove X progress from the quest or return it to the staging area. We'll just remove four. I'll be able to make that up quick next turn. It's an unfortunate shadow card to get right here at the end. Gandalf says goodbye. What if I can pull another Gandalf in? That'd be kind of dope. I can't, but I can pull Brock Iron just in for free, so let's do that. Alright. And again, this is really just a matter of time. Hit him hard, buddy. What are we up against? Another collapsed mine. Okay, good. Well, it's in the staging area. I can only no more than four progress can be placed on the quest. That'll be okay. So it's a dark location, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight. 1911 is what I need to send. So, 7, 8, 1911. This comes out. I just did the math. So, I'm sending 11 against 1, 2, 3. By the way, this gets that. Right? Yep. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 1911, 1911. And now I've got a chance to kill this guy again. Alright, Defender. No shadow. All right, this guy is done. Oh, since this quest cost me a game, uh, so my whole perfect run absolutely failed, it's time to see how much damage we can do. We're going to ready Eowyn up our threat by 3 to give her plus 9, so 10. We're going to do his ability, make it 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And when this entire army just comes in, oh, 41, 42. I could technically do him three times, which would have like 12. <laughs> um, so 42 plus 12 is 50. Uh, 54 damage. <laughs> so for 54 damage, we finally say good. Bye to this guy, and we complete the quest out of the caves of Nimkin Dom. And I don't think I'm playing this one again for a while. <laughs> I think having to whip uh, the one deck out uh, to conquer uh, was a little frustrating. Uh, getting just absolutely surge swarmed in the previous one was kind of insane. I spent way too long here, so I made some pretty bad decisions on my part. Uh, but I went in playing the quest blind. So that's part of it, uh, but this one is a much easier victory, and next time we will look at the first Shadows of Mirkwood cycle with uh, the hunt for Gollum.